Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL R-Line 4 Motion Turbo. This particular one is pure gray on the exterior with dark beige leather interior. Yes, I said that right. Dark beige leather interior. This is going to be a treat, guys. This one features LED headlights, LED turn signals, and reverse lights. An LED logo on the front, an LED light, uh, light bar on the front, LED light bar on the back with a light up logo as well. You'll see that on the front here. Piano black ribs up here on the front here, and then the R line badge right here. And there's that light up logo right there. It's kind of hard to see in the daylight, but it does illuminate. Piano black down at the base down here as well, and the R line front end right here with a splash, a chrome right here, or piano black as well body colored mirror caps body colored paint below the chrome line down here as well that nice bold line out of the headlights over the wheel arches under the door handles and into the rear wheel arch as well it says cross sport right here on the door flare silver window sills silver roof rails an added accent right here now on all of the cross sports here this black accent here is has been here uh but this is this is blocked out on top now instead of uh body colored it looks like it's a little extended there over the previous model it'll say four motion off to the right here and sel off to the left atlas right here and the headlights are on so you can actually see this led light bar across the or light strip across here lit up and that logo is also illuminated down below, a 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included. Gloss black baffles down here. Faux quad exhaust tips on the back back here. Beneath the oversized reflector. Let's take a look inside. Wait for it. There it is, boom. Dark beige on the interior here. It has carbon fiber pattern up here, flat silver on the door handles. And then you do also have uh, leatherette down here it's trimmed out in black with a contrast stitch here perforated leatherette right here with a contrast stitch separating it from the regular leatherette up here in dark beige this all ties together and runs across the dash behind that infotainment screen into the other door stainless steel scuff plates right here three seat memory right here power lumbar forward back up and down handle here and seat back adjust here so your seat's going to have a two-tone feel to it as well there's black leatherette on the side here with a contrast stitch, and then it, it bleeds into this um, leather right here. This is actual, these are actually leather seats heated and ventilated with a contrast stitch. And then a manually adjusted headrest up here trimmed out in black for the button here, and a double contrast stitch here. The arm pad in the middle is leatherette trimmed out in a double contrast stitch as well. And before we climb in, here's a look at the back. There's that two-tone going on there. The headrests are all dark beige except for the middle one black on that one and then you have car seat hookups on the two outboard seats speaking of the outboard seats they are now heated in the sel r line atlas floor mats down here these are the monster mats they're already installed this car is sold i'm going to turn down the vent here all right so over here here's a look at your digital cockpit right here that turquoise color right there now this does have 30 color ambient light display as well so you can change how it does this looks on the interior paddle shifters on the steering wheel the buttons are back on the steering wheel no capacitive touch here so they were initially going to do capacitive touch and they decided to, to do a hard left and due to customer um, customer uh, request they are not doing a capacitive touch they're keeping the buttons you have volume control over here on this side, song skip and preset skip on this side over here. It's an adjustable steering wheel. I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I want and set it. I have an R-line badge down at the base here, trimmed out in piano black as well. Stainless steel pedal caps down below. You see that one over there and these two over here and lots of uh, space down here to move your feet around, of course. And then I'm wearing my Jayhawk socks today, Rock Chalk Jayhawks. Climate, your climate control, uh, is all done on the radio with the exception of maximum defrost and rear defrost which are right here you also have your automatic headlight settings here and your poor weather lights right there 
you can also see here where these lines continue from the uh, door into the dash up here so the carbon fiber pattern continues up here around this double split vent here you have two vents here you can aim one one direction one the other um, and then you also have this gloss black or piano black that goes around the infotainment system and over to the door over there and then that straight leatherette comes across over here and comes down under the infotainment center and comes back over and then the perforated leather below that uh, contrast stitch right there comes across and goes underneath and back across very nice very very good eye for detail there uh, gone is the coin box for storage here but you have this flat dash up here lots of visibility and that storage bin is gone now there's a speaker up here uh, there's also an auto dimming home link mirror here with three door garage door memory and a Bluetooth button there with the digital compass a vanity mirror on each side here with an LED light above dark black the the black headliner here there's two slides right here i can touch right here and whoops swipe and open that sunshade and then the other one here swipe opens the sunroof that pane of glass stacks on top of that one pop up windscreen right here i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the dome lights here they're capacitive touch you just tap to uh turn on and tap to turn off there's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof goes back all of your passengers are under uh, glass at that point now up here on this screen here this is your main screen here just like your cell phone and your cell phone uh, you just hit the square it takes you home this is your main screen here you also have this screen here with all of your different um, items here and then you can swipe across and you have this third screen here now the subfolders here are going to be they won't do gesture control you'll have to swipe them with your finger uh, but you can check oil level tire pressure and also this is where you turn on and off your auto start stop there or you can also go here and do it navigation shows up here you can also show navigation over here on this side just by arrowing down from that time and date screen right there it's going to bring up navigation there but then you also have the view button where you can further change the display here uh, there's one there with the squares here's one with your travel assist or lane assist where it'll show actual lanes of travel and your car which is pretty cool um, this is one with no navigation uh, and then this is the R line one it shows your RPMs as well that's also in the Golf R which is pretty cool my Golf R has that um, so these are pretty cool that you can change what's displayed there um, now this screen here uh, the other thing that you have here you have four telephones that you can pair with this this car um, you also have AM FM and satellite and internet radio so you have those four right there you also have of course the navigation screen here uh, the vehicle setting here and on that vehicle setting I can actually go to interior ambient lighting and change what is displayed here I'm also going to change this design here to from bright to dark so this goes black ambient lighting is on automatic color is on I can turn that off to where it changes to a different color here I can change to purple it changed my dials to purple here um, and it changes in the door panel here across down here beneath the dash over into the door panel and it also goes into the rear doors so does that carbon fiber uh, pattern there it goes into the rear doors and that contrast stitching and the uh, perforated leatherette and a regular leatherette all carries back to the back doors as well so I can change what's displayed here and hit the home button here and come back now everything's purple um, you do also get app connect which allows you to do Android Auto Apple CarPlay and mirror link wirelessly on this car and speaking of wireless there's your wireless charger right there it's a trap door here where you can actually push back to open and put your phone in here you also have a storage tray over here two USB C's here and just push on that guy and it closes um, you do get another USB C up here for um, your dash cam and then you get in the armrest here another USB C in here storage in here you can still get a medium-sized person here um, and there is a drop-in safe available for this one so you can lock up a firearm or things of that nature the key fob is now larger remote start right here lock here power lift gate here and unlock here this if you just tap it is just going to unlock the lift gate and if you touch and hold when the car is not running it will actually open the hatch and it will actually close it there's a storage bin right here too 
more storage down below down here and it's kind of hard to see that but there's also an in a uh, icon here for a key with waves on it that's where you would touch your key if your key fob died the battery in your key fob died and you needed to start your car so you just touch the key down there and then you're able to start the car cup holders up here are stadium seat style this one in the front here or closest to the driver back here is lower than this guy up here so this one sits a little higher so you don't have um, lids uh, battling for supremacy on that drive back from the fast food place or the drive through your start stop button is right here park button is right here and drive uh, reverse neutral and sport are all handled by this shifter right here so that's pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and close this sunroof here because it's actually it's actually giving me a little bit of glare here if I can get the sunroof to close and the sunshade to close trying to do it with one hand never mind guys i'm not getting it done here uh park brake right here or e-brake i should say and then of course the storage bin right here passenger seat that's better the sun sh sunroof is closing there it is tinted glass too guys so you do get uh a up down forward and back button over here and seat back adjust right here that's all power and then in your glove box right here We'll go over the window sticker in a minute. There's your manuals right there, your seat belt clip protectors right there, and entire warranties underneath. This is actually nice here though. I, guys, I think this may actually be real carbon fiber. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to look at the specs on that to see. Um, and then also the rear camera here. The rear camera gives you trajectory steering here. You get tire swing animation right here on this one. Uh, you also get the park distance sensors with an animation right here at the front and the back um, you do also get um, let's see park distance sensors where you can turn them on and off right here turn the wheel left the yellow line moves accordingly turn the wheel right the yellow line moves accordingly again the green line signifies straight back and the red line signifies where your bumper is and just push the park button and put it back in park uh, let's take a look at this window sticker here this particular one comes in at 51606 extras on this one include the pure gray exterior paint 405 for 395 uh, 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror 296 for the monster mats uh, and then 275 for a third year of prepaid maintenance giving you a total of three years 1350 for destination which brings you to 51606 so put that back in the glove box there and these are leather seats that are ventilated and heated i know i already said that but these are the seats that were in the seo premium last year the SEL Premium uh, Crossport and Atlas had these seats, and now they have a new diamond stitch seat. So let's take a look at the back seat. There's a look at the wheels for the car. These are new wheels for 2024. Very sharp looking wheels here. They're a uh, silver metallic uh, wheel here, alloy wheel. More of that carbon fiber right here around the door handle. Now there are sunshades in every trim of Atlas Crossport with the exception of the SE. Down below here, Leatherette trim right here, perforated leatherette below that, separated by that contrast stitch. And then the arm pad down here also has leatherette as well. Storage bins here, here, and also here. And your, your ha door handles now have a bottom to them, so they don't drop through now. You don't need to get inserts on Amazon or anything like that aftermarket. These seats right here, leather on the outboard seats here, heated on that seat and this seat here car seat hookups here the middle seat is leatherette there are no car seat hookups there but you do also get an armrest in the middle here squishy yet firm pass through right there or not a pass through but uh you can uh fold down that armrest there the uh, headrests are adjustable as well this seat is currently reclined you use this handle to recline it you can see the difference in angle between this seat and that seat over there as we climb in here here's a look at my leg room here and the seats are reclined. And again, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. There's the Beacom Hawks guy right there. Magazine pocket here and here. Two vents back here as well. Heated seats for both passengers in the rear on the outboard seats. You just touch once and they're on high. And then again, medium, then low, then off on both sides. And then you have two USB-Cs right here and a three-prong plug-in right here. Here's a look through from the back to the front. I'll go ahead and shut this door here. And there's a look up the panoramic sunroof is hidden behind that here so let's see if we can swipe here and get that open for you so you can see the light come through there very nice so all of your passengers are under glass they're oohing and aahing on the whole trip
there's a look at the front again. Here's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof. And there's the sunshade going back. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. Another look at those wheels right there. As we come around to the back, right between the T and the L is the little micro switch there. And you open up, here's a look through from the back to the front. Panoramic sunroof, the dark beige interior, your carpet squares here, carpet pieces to cover your gap when you fold the seats down here. There are your cargo blocks right there. And looks like a first aid kit right here as well. And the front plate for this car is off to the side here. 12 volt charger port right there, bag hook on either side right here. And also over here, recessed uh, LED lighting here and here. And there is a track here for a privacy cover if you choose to add that. There's your button for the power lift gate right there. That's adjustable. Now this car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty and include three years of prepaid maintenance. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance. So your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, remember this one's sold, you can give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. And by the way, I will tell you that I do have two SEL Premium R-Line Atlas Cross Sports that are not reserved currently at this time of making this video. Uh, one in pure gray and one in Aurora Red uh, that are both still available, 2024s. Uh, so if you're interested in this car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.